we're over here in Sanford we're gonna take a look at a beetle. It's a custom rod. The guy apparently passed away while he was trying to restore it for about 12 years. It might be our next build here at Dust Buggin in the near future. Do you do that trying to put that in? Or no. Do? Hired movers to take it from her house and storage unit that he got put in in Indiana. Four pans are all, it's all brand new steel. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. I can see the running bars are new because it's still got the plastic. Got, yep, yep, cool. in there. Is that an amp? It is. I've got the wiring diagram. They said he was planning on showing this one. We did pretty good at car shows with the things we built. Look almost like the soft seats. Yeah, they're real close. 89 or 91 Scirocco. Mm -hmm. Two benches right there. Uh -huh. And it matches the car. Yeah, we're going to get the Beetle and custom bad. Alright, yep. just like a cruiser will pull its first needle. Yeah! yeah. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. So, minor inconvenience, but... On today's episode of How F*** Up Is F*** Up, that's f*** up. That's... It's not good. Not good at all. Coming down the road, just left from where we got the beetle, and then all of a sudden the wheel, we hear Ch -ch -ch -ch, flying off into the woods. Yeah, it's fine now. I think it's fine, honestly. They're coming to save us. Yeah, these studs are loose. On the road again. We made it. We still have all four tires. I yeah. don't know how. The tire didn't do any damage to anything. This thing has got all kinds of new stuff on it. Oh yeah, and look, I got mine now. I can just paint a little bit on it and make it kind of look like that one, two-tone. <laughs> <laughs> we have all eight tires on both of our vehicles. <laughs> We have a project to finish now, courtesy of Derek and his father, T. Greg. And Derek's father was unable to finish the project, and you can see he did really great work. I mean, I see it. Uh, he was meticulous, and uh, he passed away, unfortunately, before he could complete the car. So we're going to complete it the way he was building it, and pass that on, and make a video of it, and tell the story of Derek and his father. So stay tuned. You guys. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, who put that log there? Oh, it's gonna make some good just bug and blooper there. All the best stuff. New shocks. Body's been painted off of the chassis. The chassis painted. There's still the color. It's powder coated. So wow. Ceramic coated MP spider wheels. Really nice tachometer on it. There's a stereo and amps in here. Brand new dash pad. Custom gauges. I'm gonna get pop outs for these and then we'll get a new headliner. He was putting it in and then just didn't get back to it. And so it's been hanging in there ever since. And the carpet, it's moldy and I'm gonna leave the paint the way it is. I mean, there's a little imperfections because of the time that it's been sitting in storage. But T. Greg was the builder and I wanna stay true to what he did and it looks great anyway. So I'm not gonna do anything to the paint. I'm going to continue in the direction that he was going in. There's a new running boards, new tires. It's gonna be a sweet ride. I don't know why the hood's bent over right there, but it's on the same on both sides. Damn, that sucks. I might make everything out of the inside, clean it up and bag it. What's up, man? Just bugging. Hey guys, it's Dalton. As you guys saw in the recap, this is an unfinished project by T. Gray and Derek. Well, in this video, you guys will see us finish it. The first clip we're taking it back to July of 2020, where my father tells a crazy story that he heard by Derek the son. A year later, after months of the 71 sitting with a tarp over it, we pull it out and we start working on it and get it all prepared for the new owner, Jose. So stay tuned till the end. Just had Derek call me, the son of T. Greg. There's my log, you're not gonna get me this time. <laughs> but he just told me a hilarious story. It caught his eye when I busted my on the log over there that there's a story to go with that. He asked me if I was superstitious in any way. Eh, believe in the afterlife and, you know, possibly spirits, stuff like that. So my wife really does, boy, she's superstitious. So I knew she'd love this story. Derek told me that when his father passed away, he was up in Indiana and there was this woman and she did crafts and clay and stuff like that. And she decided to put his ashes and make a clay crock pot. So she did and it accidentally got packaged and sent to a thrift store and the woman and there noticed the inscription on the bottom of it that said his T. Greg's ashes were in it and she thought it was kind of creepy and unusual and she didn't want to sell it so she put it in the back on a shelf and her friend you know that come to the store all the time the thrift store she kept trying to talk her into selling her the crock pot she had to have it finally she gave in I think it was a couple years later she gave in and she sold it to her friend well her friend was soon after got in a severe car accident and had to have 65 stitches and the crock pot was in the back seat unharmed she immediately after you know I guess 
or sur surgery or whatever. Went back to the thrift store and said, you gotta take this back. I can't have this around me, it's cursed. The woman took it back and she goes, I need to find out where this came from and put it back to its rightful owner. So she researched it and she found Derek and gave him the crock pot. Well, when Derek saw me bust my in the first video of us purchasing the car where the tire fell off, he immediately thought of his dad and said, you know, that's how his dad was funny like that and he'll play games with you and everything. And he definitely wanted that crock pot to be in the right hands and he really feels that that's what occurred because his dad didn't want some stranger having possession of his ashes. And so he made sure that crock pot got back to its rightful owner. <laughs> so he told me I need to be careful. So at that point, I realized this car is going to be called T Greg. I mean, Great bug story. I thought you all would enjoy that. Hey man, what we got here? It's time to get back to this bad boy. It's been a long time. Yeah, this is when the wheel fell off. Yeah. Now we can put this in the mix and all I need is a new windshield. I have the headliner of the carpet. We got pop outs and it has a freeway flyer in it and a beautiful suspension underneath it. This is a nice ass car here. Damn, man, it looks so good. All right. Hey, man, so it's been a while since, you know, we've talked about the uh, 71, but hey, man, who we got right here? We've got Jose. Yeah. And he is purchasing the car, which That's I cool. am going to complete, yeah. just like Allie's car, the yeah. 72 Super Beautiful we did. That's but sweet. this one is not going to take as long as that one. No. It's almost there. Yeah. So we're going to slap the 1600 freshly rebuilt motor that just got back from Gary Johnson yeah. a week ago, and we're going to break it in and slap it in the car, and then I'm going to start on the headliner, and then the glass and then the carpet and of course this one comes with a freeway flyer in it which i got to put the tranny mounts back on it that, that i took off for another car when i had this stored in the garage that's exactly what so, you did yeah there's your freeway flyer sweet look at all that. new seals mm, looks good i'll install the glass with new rubber seals and everything and, and uh, get this back in his hands before march 30th of course that is a longer span than i will most likely need but i always give myself a buffer, buffer for zone. unforeseen things I always stick to my work I'm just really happy we actually get to see somebody get to enjoy this vehicle instead of just buy it, rip it out of our hands, and go work on right. it themselves. And we'll know where it goes, and we'll see the story continue yeah. on in Jose's possession. Yeah. yeah, and then hopefully see it at a car show sometime. That's the plan. Yeah. So I'm happy to have met you, and I'm happy to do this for you, yes, and sir. I'm sure you'll be quite pleased. I'm man. happy yeah. already just by looking at this beauty right here. Yeah, That's great. So, and then it's cool because it was an unfinished father and son project. Right. Now finished by a father and son group. Yeah. And with the help of Chad. course Chad <laughs> and then now you'll own it which yes. is super cool yeah welcome to the just bugging family yes, again sir. I'll shake that hand again <laughs> stay tuned guys it's gonna be sweet seeing this thing finished of course with the 1600 you won't be needing the tack but hell yeah stay tuned guys so, what you got right here? Rebuilt 1600, just broke in today. Yeah, it was my 1600 back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. Sounds pretty good. Sounds great. That'll be nice for the blue and black. Oh yeah. 1600 dual port right here, about to go in the blue and black. Hey man, so if we remember correctly, this whole car was being built to be a drag car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had a cutout in the floorboard for an oil cooler, and what'd you do today? Just made a little template cutout, put the hole in, and went ahead and treated it and decided to go ahead and go full length with both floorboards on it. Check it out, guys. POR 15. Links down in the description. Great product, man. Four boards, four pans, in case I get corrected. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, it's looking sweet, man. Right on, appreciate it. Hell yeah. Yeah, guys, so what have we done so far? Got a brand new windshield in it. Yep. Brand Triangle Auto Parts. Yeah, put the vent window in. That one wasn't in the frame. They need to be clean, so. Yep, and new scrapers and felts and everything. Well, we got the new seal for the outside of the pop-out pop out windows, so we installed new pop-out windows, and you see we have the plastic cover that covers the hinge right here, so that's all done. And as you see, we put the custom seating in it. And this you got the headliner and carpet. This is an actual beetle seat, but this isn't. There's a few blemishes that Jose can get some black dye or something. This was on 
it when I bought the car originally. It's set up on some white painted shelves in his garage and apparently it sat there so long in the heat. We let some of the paint come off of the shelves onto the seats. You got this plastic cover. I don't know what they had for a handle here. I had to put some tabs on it so the seats are functional. He can get a, like a little sleeve of plastic that goes over a piece of rubber. You know what I mean? Slide it over there, put it over it. And the question is now whether the seats are too low for him. Dalton's 5'9", I'm 5'9". It kind of gets your eye level a little low in it. We just asked Jose that. Got the rear window in with a new seal. Of course, all the door panels are in. The carpet was done. It really is a beautiful car. Needs to be vacuumed, but... So now we're going to get some final drivability issues. Check the alignment in the front. Get as close as I can with my own little primitive shower curtain rod doohickey. You know, <laughs> how I learned how to do it in the Army. It apparently has a brand new gearbox in it because the stud had a lot of adjustment on it. So it might be so good. We're going to deal with that. So but we got some halos. Yeah. Yeah, and we got to thank Badass Beetle on Instagram for that. Yeah, he uh, they sent us a link for it. And showed what he's done. And you yeah. saw in the Sanford video, the really nice lime green beetle with the turbo on it. Oh, the yeah. Poly. Yeah, it had yeah halos. he had halos. Yeah, the with the older style bezels. Right, it's getting closer. Yeah. We're down to some final adjustments and to suit the new owner. It yeah. was going to be mine. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about keeping it myself, but we want to get into a Westphalia. Yeah, and we wink, want to wink. Our own bus, wink, <laughs> wink. You know, soon to be video. There, You'll see you that know, at some point. What we're talking about. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. But this is where we're at, and it's looking sweet. Yeah, it is. I can't wait to drive it. I got a question. I don't think I ever would with these particular style headlights, but with these? I've thought about it. I mean, no, I personally wouldn't because it just... Well, it, it kills the classic yeah, look. it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, yeah no, I've thought about it. But, I mean, would that actually work in there? Like, yes. Say, oh, really? Yeah. They're the same 7-inch. We thought about it, but people keep telling me, no, that ruins the classic I look. Would. Anyways, we like our little custom accents. I think we might. More maybe. Curiosity. Yeah. We just do want to tell you guys that this car has been assembled. It hasn't been restored. No, we didn't do the paint job. It was so, there there is deficiencies in areas, but... Let it ride, you know? Yeah. It's, it's very presentable and very solid car. And if you guys remember, when we first got this vehicle, it came with the Jeanberg shifter. It came with the massive tachometer and everything. It toggle switches on and it for an oil cooler, which just doesn't have a big build in it. And it had an oil pressure so gauge on it. he has no big motor. It's just a 1600cc dual yeah, port, so he don't need this. A little excessive for yeah. what he's got. Didn't want the shifter or the tachometer. But I dare you to get up underneath the car and try to find some roses. Oh, oh yeah. He has painted the color of the car with yeah. new floors on it. So. And it even still has the uh, blue tape on the running boards. Yeah, <laughs> Actually, that's going to be a pain to get off. For so long, you'd have a hell of a time getting it off. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a pain I to get it off. Up. And as you guys see, too, we got a that's Grant easy. steering wheel. There's not a trim piece that goes around this. This is how it was, and this is what I have. Yeah. And also, there's, there's no set. horn. No, so. there was no horn assembly. And then I have the visors. It didn't come with rear view mirror. I think I have one. It did come with the cinch straps, oh sh handles, whatever you want to call it. Seat belts? It did not come with any seat belts. So. I like men around here. Yeah. That was the only box of parts. And we do have a stereo that will be going in it, but it's not no fancy stereo with a Bluetooth. So uh, if he wants a, to upgrade it was a to CD that. CD player at 10 years ago. Yeah. Had CD players out. But. So also there is an amplifier, 1000 watt amplifier that comes in it. Don't know what the condition is. of it. So I'm assembling what parts came with the car. Yeah. Uh, sweet. And I'm telling you, man, those are, correct me if I'm wrong, Sirocco seats is what we were told I when we first so. purchased them. They look great, honestly. Yeah. And we got them all to function and had the right plastic paint to cover those black and can we take a minute to admire that headliner work yeah, right there you see the wrinkles from the packaging right down the center they're They'll slowly, go away they're after surely time. going away they do look better than a what hot it did. summer month and this is all going to be gone yeah. but you can see that it's very tight i'm really proud of my efforts to put in a headline and, and it's I getting better yeah and the carpet looks great too i mean of and, course you know it needs to be vacuumed but a brand new dash yeah with the stereo wasn't cut out we're installing the stereo back into the glove box where it was. Yeah, okay. but she's looking great. It's looking great. I think Jose's going to be very happy. And then now that we got all the glass in it, we can close the pop outs and wash this baby in. Yeah. That back windshield wasn't that bad to get in, except we were having a little issue up at the top. Yeah. But after we got all that settled, it dropped, right it in, dropped right. in. But you would think that the flat windshield would be the easiest to put in. But in reality, I'd say on the entire car, the hardest one the to put in is, is the front. The thing is, is get a person on each side. And, and don't pound too much. Yeah, and pound with your whole hand. 
hand, not the palm. And then when the person that's getting in there, make sure that you don't see any light of the seal. The seal should push up against the body and then you start pulling around. You want to get the whole seal to sit straight. So it's gonna wanna curl out on the corners. You're gonna wanna get that to roll over. And then once it drops into this area, it forces the seal to cup onto the glass and then you can peel up the weed eater line around and get it. But if you put the weed eater line and you have a gap of light up here, chances are someone's gonna hit it and it's gonna crack. And it ain't fun. No, it ain't fun. I've already been there. <laughs> $125 brand new windshield. Hey, it looks nice. And honestly, you can't yeah, tell it's in it. Yeah, yesterday when I fully cleaned it, I mean, now it's got a little dust on it, but you really could not yeah, tell that it was in it. It was no. like directly looking and through. And the, the wiper arms weren't in it, but I did run across a set of wiper arms sitting in the old 74 Just Bug and Prop car Yeah. for outros. Yeah. So. Your cars came in handy. A lot of parts have been yeah, used off so of it. I'm going to go ahead and give it to them. They weren't in the box of the parts that came mm. with the car. One thing you always say is look for some parts you got lying around yeah. and make something work yeah. instead of going out and buying more. That's what Chad and I did. We ran into several obstacles today and we overcame it every single one of them. That's the way to do it. Gotta, Gotta improvise. improvise. That's the VW line. Gotta, Gotta be a fabricator, yeah. not a parts changer. <laughs> well, stay tuned, guys. Hey, guys. What are you guys doing over here on the I-71? Well, you know, the gentleman that built this unfortunately died before he could finish it. T-Greg. And uh, he has all-wheel disc brakes on it. And we were bleeding the brakes and everything, and we'd get great pressure in the front and none in the rear. Yeah. And I can't tell just by looking at it. It is painted silver. They don't come painted silver. I don't know if he did that. That, but, but it's 11 year old brake master and maybe he was not aware that you can't use a 19 millimeter bore master cylinder which is stock with all you wheel can only disc use brakes it for front disc and rear drum once you get to the all wheel disc then you have to go to a 20.6 millimeter so being that we had no pressure on the rear and we don't know what it is in it we just went ahead and ordered an mp 20.6 they're right there, four. Yeah, right there. Look, right, there it is. There it is, brand new. So we're going to be putting this on it right now, and that should solve our problems. And we went ahead and bench bled it, so we can try to get there quicker get to the pressure. So yeah, so, guys, if you guys need a brake master, definitely go check out MP's brake master at yep, the Vita Factory. Yeah, we got this at Vita Factory, which yep. is it's authorized dealer. dealer of MP products. Hell yeah, it's gonna be nice. We're actually gonna have some stopping power. Yep, we'll let you know. It's coming along. Get that in focus. Look at that. That's sweet. Oh, hey, yeah, the park lights. Oh, that's cool. Got the light in the middle, too. Got some dash lights here. Let's see some blinkers. Blinker action right here. Right, son? Look at that. I like that. Upwards 
Into the camera. Uh, Dalton approves. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun to drive now. Yeah, hop in. Come on. Hey, join the party. What's up? What's up? Yeah, it's and gets now. Oh, Steering's it great, isn't it? It sounds so good, and the steering is definitely great. Tires rub at all now? Uh, no, I haven't noticed it. I went down a cul de sac. To I test changed the steering stops. And you know how the fenders were more tip forward? Yeah. Tip them back. That might have helped. Yeah. It's just the tires. Yeah, it's the thinner tires. tires. Are too wide. They're too wide. The thing's definitely fun. I'm trying to enjoy this car. We've had it for a long time now. And we haven't been able to do nothing but look at it. This car looks like a little race car. Yeah. It's a little car. Oh, yeah. It's a little car. T. Greg did a great job of doing the whole body off restoration. Yeah, and the then cars is good. A. Greg finished yeah, it. G. Greg. <laughs> G. Greg. G. Greg. With a help from Chad. A little bit of help from me. I mean, all I did was watch it. I watched it. Very, very fun. Been good pushing good me through hell the last few days. Yeah. Hey, dress bugging approves. Yeah. Good to go. Just a few little things. And... It'd be good to ride out. Hey guys, it's Dawn. And G-Man. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this long overdue video. But it, yeah, yeah it, was, it was a project on the back burner. Yeah, you know? and it was before the 66 wannabe. And... We changed direction and decided that we were going to build that to sell and keep the 66 wannabe. And then we bought another project that we haven't announced yet. Yeah. And we're still trying to decide on the combination of the drivetrain we're going to put in it. And we may be going in a direction with that vehicle than we've never been in yeah and it may not be air cooled <laughs> no it may not it may not be a conversion you might think we would go into no, not a subaru all. conversion so yeah stay tuned for that but as you guys saw we did a few new things we got a little visuals made up for the story and man that ain't no damn crock pot no i don't know what i was thinking yeah nobody wants to cook in that <laughs> if you know what i mean but uh for some reason i kept saying crock pot but it's an urn yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta say thank you Board Studio on Fiverr. Definitely go check out their link down in the description. They made the visuals for T. Greg's urn story. So Crockpot story. Yeah. <laughs> Crockpot story. Definitely go check out their link down in the description. I just thought, you know, you gotta put some visuals to the story because when I first heard the clip of the story, I was like, I'm envisioning everything. Yeah. So I was like, we gotta make some visuals. Well, you know, it kind of did make me feel like it had a ghostly spirit in it at times, but everything kind of panned out in the end and was easy, but you had thought there were more you know tires falling off or something yeah. <laughs> and logs in my way but <laughs> <laughs> yeah t grant got your choice yeah he did but i guess we did something right and he left us alone after that <laughs> yeah. but stay tuned for the next video you'll see us take it around the block for its last drive and then also discuss the whole project and release it to jose so yeah, yeah there's a little a bit more video. to finish this story off huh? yeah but we're glad we got to finish the story of t greg and derek's 1971 vw beetle aka 
black and blue. And stay Probably tuned for part two of the 72 Super Beetle theater. Yes. So that'll be following this video. Also, as you guys saw, I said with the link down in the description, you guys can get 10% off with PRR15. We got a big announcement and we're yeah. going to make a whole dedicated video for it. But we got to tell you guys, we got PRR15 as a sponsor. They are now sponsoring Just Bug and VW. Yeah, and we've used that product a lot. Yes. You know, you can look Sandy's back in our buggy. videos. Yeah, you can look the back. The green 70 of, dune buggy. Yeah, videos that haven't even come out yet. The oh, 69 yes. convertible. Yes. You know, the 72 Tons. Super Beetle convertible. So. But yeah, guys, definitely go check out the link down in the description to get 10% off with our link for POR15 products. Thank you, POR15, for sponsoring Just Bugging. Great product. And we want to thank everyone out there for, you know, making this happen. So, yeah, yeah guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, and have a Just Bugging of a day. And keep on bugging, y'all.